Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, just to add something to what the Minister for Infrastructure said, Mr. Speaker, the calculation on the breakdown between materials and labor, when that's done, Mr. Speaker, when we can apportion a, a what percentage is labor and what percentage is materials, Mr. Speaker, the tax will only be, have to be paid on the labor and not the materials. That's in the, in, in the future, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I thank members for the support, Mr. Speaker. Again, as members said, it's, a, it's another move by the government to put more money in the pockets of the people of this country, Mr. Speaker. And think about how, how, how this works. Just envisage yourself how this works, Mr. Speaker. Um, remove the VAT on building materials, Mr. Speaker. So the person who doesn't eat plywood, but who wants to buy a few sheets of plywood and galvanize? Mr. Speaker, and somebody sent me a little calculation, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, what keeps me going is the support from the ground, Mr. Speaker. The support from the masses. The support from the people who, who don't have time or whose the government give, hasn't given their children a computer yet. Who don't have time to go on on, this, on social media, Mr. Speaker, and spew lies and misinformation, Mr. Speaker. Here is what she, the, the, the person said to me. They said, listen to me. When, as you, you and the government, as you move VAT on plywood, you, you know what happens. When I buy five sheets of plywood, with the remainder, with what you've taken out of VAT, I can buy an extra sheet. Is that logic, Mr. Speaker? That's how the people on the ground calculate it. Calculate it. People who feel it. When they buy five sheets of plywood, with the rebate on, 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 on plywood, they can buy an extra sheet, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you know, when they make these cases as portions, he who feels it most knows it, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you don't know what five sheets of plywood does for an ordinary man and woman? Five sheets of plywood for the flooring? We wish it could be a lot more, you know. But you don't know the impact that five sheets of plywood, five new sheets of plywood have, Mr. Speaker, for the ordinary man and woman, the low income, the person whose income is not what it ought to be, Mr. Speaker, because of various factors. You don't know what it means, Mr. Speaker? It means a lot. It means a lot, Mr. Speaker. But they don't understand it. They can't understand it. Galvanize, Mr. Speaker. The hurricane season is, is, is on. And the, amount, the number of people who have issues with their roofs leaking, Mr. Speaker, 10 sheets of galvanize. And you save the vat and that, Mr. Speaker, 10 sheets convert into 11 or 12 by saving the vat in it, Mr. Speaker. And now you add in that to the 10% which you're removing from income tax of a small contractor. You see how the combination works, Mr. Speaker? So that small contractor who would have made, would have had a contract for $5,000 if he does it himself, instead of getting $4,500, he'll get 5,000. So this 500 dollars he have, he can buy two sheets of plywood. See how it works? How it gets together? And then, Mr. Speaker, to add it on, add to it, when this child goes to school, in Form 1, they get a computer. On top of that, and then, they still get 500 dollars to go to school, Mr. Speaker. You see, what, you see what the government is doing? And then, Mr. Speaker, the mother has to pay no facility fees. So you see, Mr. Speaker, how, how this government, and that's why they have to be so angry. Because you see how it works out, Mr. Speaker? Now, translate that, you take it out now, translate it, Mr. Speaker, to an, a regular, a member of the St. Lucia Police Force, a, a constable. He's paying no tax on his first $24,000 per year. On his first $2,000, he's paying no tax, right? Then, Mr. Speaker, he now has the opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to stop paying facility fees. So he hasn't paying that. The money he was saving to pay CXC for his children, he hasn't got to pay for maths and English. 
So you save something else, Mr. Speaker. Then the computer he has to buy for his child, he hasn't got to buy it again, Mr. Speaker, because the government is giving him, giving him the computer. And if his child excels, the child may get a scholarship. So you see, Mr. Speaker, you see, everybody. So this government benefits everyone. Everyone the government benefits from, Mr. Speaker. And right now, people are listening to you or really listening And right now, Mr. Speaker, they're really listening to you. Mr. Speaker, right now, Mr. Speaker, they are listening on Radio St. Lucia. You see? 97.3, Mr. Speaker, Radio St. Lucia. So you see, Mr. Speaker, how, how, how the government, how this government is coming to place. So you can see the anger, Mr. Speaker. And to make it even, even better, Mr. Speaker, when they're in the South, they'll be able to go to a new St. Jude's Hospital. So you see the anger? See why they must be angry, Mr. Speaker, but we're moving on, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I thank members for the support, and then I look forward, when the Senate meets, Mr. Speaker, for the people of this country, for the people of this country, when they go to the Treasury to collect the entire check, instead of taking 10% if the check is more, is less than $10,000. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.